Hello and welcome to Premodern Wishing Portal. But before we get into the video, please do like, comment and subscribe. It really helps out the channel and it just makes me feel happy in general. So thank you for that. The whole deck works around erratic portal, being able to bounce our own creatures that have comes into play effects to effectively reuse them every single turn. We also have Living Wish as a kind of tutor card to get any kind of creatures that we want from our sideboard. A lot of these cards do cost a lot of mana, so we will definitely need a whole bunch of ramp cards. Luckily, green just has an excellent number to choose from, and we will be playing quite a few of these. In terms of the value cards, green also has some very good value in Wall of Blossoms or Deranged Hermit, but as we're playing multiple colors, we really can play anything. Avalanche Riders is extremely annoying when cast every single turn, and Thornscape Battle Mage with the Kickers can be absolutely devastating when cast every turn. Also, you could play Thunderscape Battle Mage as well instead of, uh, it's really up to you and your meta, but we really have a lot of strong choices to choose from. And that brings us to the wish board. We can actually play five colors worth of cards, so really there's far too many cards for me to include in this video, but you'll definitely want something that destroys creatures, enchantments, artifacts, something to gain life, just generally the kind of useful cards you'd expect. Along with these, we're also playing some of the best removal that the format has to offer in Swords to Plowshares, and Lightning Bolt, which we can also use to finish off our opponents. For Disruption, we have the Portal, which can actually bounce our opponent's stuff, although it's not really great at that, but alongside Winter Orb, it definitely can be. Winter Orb is absolutely essential to slow down combo decks and control decks, as we are quite a clunky mid-range deck. In terms of the mana base, we're definitely playing all those pain lands and five color lands you'd expect in a multicolor deck, but luckily, being green and having lots of mana fixing, we also have access to wasteland, which is awesome. For the sideboard, as we mentioned before, most of these cards will be wishboard targets, but you could really include anything you want, as we do have the mana base to support quite a lot of options. And speaking of options, I can definitely see a build that focuses more on black to play main deck discard. Both of these cards would go excellent in this kind of deck, and I really wouldn't be surprised to see something like this evolve in the future. And in terms of ideal starting hands, we obviously want the mana and mana ramp to help us go into those more clunky mid-range creatures, along with some kind of removal or disruption effect to slow our opponents down. So when playing the deck, we're looking to ramp out some early creatures and slow our opponent down with removal until we can hit our mid-range kind of threats. At that point, we'll hopefully get an erratic portal and then we can start reusing all of these comes into play effects to just slowly get incremental advantage turn over turn over turn until we just absolutely bury our opponent under all of these effects and advantages. And as I mentioned before, don't forget Living Wish. We can use that to get any toolbox creature or land that we need from our sideboard and then start abusing those. Against the deck, it is quite slow and clunky, so some combos really do outrace it, especially ones that it can't interact with, such as graveyard combos. There are also some hate cards, such as Humility, that just completely shut down what we're trying to do. And counter magic is just generally good against this deck as the cards never come into play and it just completely negates all of the value that we would get. And so this is definitely a mid-range deck. Against aggro, we're looking to slow them down with our removal until we can ramp out something bigger that can take over the game. And against control and combo, we're looking to disrupt them with those disruptive elements and ideally just reusing them over and over again until we can just get so much advantage that they can't deal with it. For strengths, we have an absolutely amazing value engine that's also very, very good against creature removal. We have an enormous number of options and can really play pretty much anything we want. And it's a very interactive deck with a lot of moving parts. The downsides are it's very, very slow and it does have quite slow and weak disruption, especially against some combos. And some of the hate cards such as Humility really can make this deck just shut down. And here is an actual deck that performed very, very well in a very big tournament. So if you'd like, you can pause the video now. Otherwise, here is the same deck in a slightly different view. But if you enjoy these videos, please do like, comment, subscribe. Thank you for watching and see you next time.